What's going on YouTube? I'm Reggie Bryant. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to invest $100 in 2020. And the purpose of this video is that so you can learn how to invest in your 20s so that you can be wealthy in your 30s. We're going to get started right now. Welcome to Money Monday. So, so let's say you're young, you're in your 20s. You're like, dude, I don't have enough money to invest. My comeback to that is just to do. So you need as little as $100 to invest successfully so that you can turn that into some serious money down the road. So I wanna show you exactly how to do that. First of all, you want to invest in yourself. And what do I mean by that? I don't mean your education. I don't mean going back to school. I don't mean any of that. I mean invest in yourself. I'm not talking about mindlessly buying self-improvement books like what you see back here. I'm not talking about mindlessly buying tickets to seminars. I'm talking about being intentional. Self-help books are great, but guess what? They do not pay the bills. They do not make you money. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to invest in. Think about what industry you're in. Think about different ways you can make money. If you aspire to make money online, if you purchase a book, that teaches you how to make money online, that's a good investment. If you're doing, if you're within a certain career, and let's say that if you learn how to code, that you will get 20 grand added on to your salary, you're probably gonna think that's a worthy investment to buy a book or even a course on how to code. You first learn the basics, you learn different languages, and then you figure out how to code. These are just examples. If you want to learn how to invest more, you buy a book that shows you exactly how to invest. You see what I'm saying? These are investments that make you more money. Up front, they cost a little bit of money, but in the long run, they end up paying for themselves. You can buy one book for 20 bucks. You can buy five books for 100 bucks on the same thing, and you really get to capitalize and focus on that one skill. That's what I'm getting at. That is how you invest your $100. For example, something I want to get a lot better at this year is investing. So what did I do? I bought a book on it, The Intelligent Investor. I have The Intelligent Investor linked in the description for those of you who actually want to read it. Those are examples of how to invest in yourself. If you want to learn how to grow your business, if you want to learn how to invest in real estate, if you want to learn to how to improve and capitalize on your money and make more money, then buy books, buy courses, go to seminars, about these types of things and I promise you, you will get a return on investment. You will either get valuable information that you can apply to your life and then you get the benefits, which is typically more money, or you get to meet people who's in a better position and make more money that way. That's how you invest. That's how you get that return on your initial investment. Especially doing this in your early 20s, you're going to absolutely see a return. If, if not in your mid 20s, you'll, you'll see a return in your mid to early 30s. All right, number two is a really important one. Invest in your 401k. That's something you want to do up front, and it's the easiest and the least noticeable investment you will ever make because it literally comes out of every single paycheck you have automatically. You won't notice it. It's not taxed. None of that. And so what it does is it goes into a large pool of investments and over the years, investing as little as $100 within your paycheck, especially if you start from like the age of 18, that is going to have some crazy, crazy benefits. But typically, you'll invest a lot more than $100 per month. Honestly, you'll if, if you're doing between 8 and 15% of, of your paychecks like I would recommend you do, then you're actually going to see a lot, a lot more benefits with this. You're going to see you know, a few hundred of your dollars a month going to it. And guess what? It's going to absolutely explode by the time you hit your mid thirties or even retirement age. I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best investments. And that's really all you have to do is put eight to 15% of your paychecks into this investment account. And I guarantee it, you are going to see some very, very, very large numbers. And the key is to do this as early as possible. You might be 18, you might be 20, you might be 21, 22, you might be 24. Get started, you will see the results. That's really, that's literally all you have to do. That's the easiest way to do it and it's passive income and your company even matches it to a certain point. And that's at least what most jobs do. So I guarantee you, if you start doing that, mm, you're gonna have some, you're gonna have a nice nest egg. And this is going, gonna only be one of many nest eggs that you have for yourself. This is exactly how you invest in your 20s so you can be wealthy in your 30s. 
And just to be clear, the way compound interest works just as it does in 401k, you can easily turn $100 a month into a million dollars. Now, another obvious one that maybe a lot of people aren't familiar with is invest in the stock market. Now, I get it. It's intimidating. There's all these, you know, there's so much terminology, so, so many different kinds of lingo that you might not understand, right? There might be a bunch of stocks and bonds that, you know, you're, you're afraid to put your money into because you might think that, oh my God, the, the market's going to drop and then I'm going to buy something at $600 and it's going to drop $300 in a day and I'm not going to know what to do. You might feel that way. Here's the thing, the best way to invest in the stock market is to learn about the stock market, is to learn about different stocks. You shouldn't invest in something unless you understand it. If you're not familiar with the brand and you, you're just you know investing into it because it sounds good, well, you're probably gonna be disappointed. You might be making an uh, ill-informed decision and you might lose money that way. So the best thing to do is read up on it, learn about it, and learn what an intelligent investor does. And once again, this book that I have right here, The Intelligent Investor, is going to show you how to do a lot of those things. But if you're unfamiliar with that and you don't even want to go the route of getting individual stocks and buying and selling and all that good stuff, don't worry about it. There's robo-advisors, there's Betterment, there's Acorns, there's tons of different investment apps out there that are robo-advisors that have, you know, you, you, t you put 500 bucks in there or so, you can put less than $500. But just an example, you put a few hundred dollars in there, and what it does is it diversifies where your money goes. It goes into a bunch of different investments, you know, stocks, bonds, it's, it's a mix. There's ETFs in there. There's all of these things that are included in there so that if the market rises or falls, you're still getting dividends from your bonds. You're still getting, you know, you're still seeing an increase of net worth. You're still seeing an increase on your investment. And Sometimes these drop, but the point of getting these types of accounts is similar to your 401 ks for the long term. Like, yeah, sometimes it's going to fall and sometimes it's going to rise. But like, if you sit there and watch every dip in your investment, like you probably shouldn't be investing. Like the whole point of investing is for the long term. Things are going to fall in the short term. Like when you invest in yourself and you buy a book or a course online or something, initially you're going to lose a hundred bucks or however much money you put into it. But in the future, maybe in a few months, maybe in a year or so, you're going to see a return on that investment. And when you do, typically the money you put in is going to be doubled or tripled. That's just how it works. That's at least how it's worked for me. I will link every single investment account that I'm familiar with and that I've used and that I know and trust in the description, such as Acorn, such as Betterment, such as Robinhood. I will link all of those in the description just for you guys. Leave a comment down below. Which one are you going to invest in first, yourself or the stock market? I'd love to know your answer. All right, lastly, you want to reinvest. Reinvest into what is paying you. So, for example, if you wanted to expand on a skill initially and you invested in yourself, so, so this is after the initial step of actually taking that investment for yourself. So, once you've invested in yourself and you start to see a profit from it, that is when you start to reinvest. For example, if you want to learn how to make money online, so you purchase a book on how to make money online, and then you actually start making money online, you know what? You might have gotten 10 or 20 bucks in return. Put that back into it. What else can you learn about making money online? Or how could you upgrade whatever business you've made online so that it can impact your customers better? Or if you purchase a book on investing and you're starting to see some crazy returns or any returns on your investments, put that money back into your stock market. That's how you do it. That's what the rich do. That's how the rich stay rich. That's how you turn $100 into a million dollars eventually is by reinvesting. You know, you, you earn money doing this, put the money back in instead of just spending money on mindless mess. I mean, you can do that sometimes, but the, the important thing is that you actually put the money that you're earning back into what's feeding you. Does that make sense? And then guess what? Once, once you already do that, 
your money's just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. And then you can start taking fractions of your earnings and putting it back in there. And then you can keep, you can pocket the rest of it and just keep doing it over and over and over again. It will just snowball to the point where it's just massive. So that's the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal growth and personal finance. And the purpose of this channel is so that you can control your life. So control you, control your finances, control your life. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and leave a like.